Hello and welcome to British Open Championship Golf. That's right, this game comes to you live from 1997. <laughs> this, is a, this is a game, uh, this was one of my dad's favorite games ever. Uh, and so uh, I uh, figured I'd fire it up and take a look and, and just, I don't know, let, let's see what it looks like today. You know, it, it's 2017. This was in 1997, so what is that, 20 years later? Um, so uh, I did create, uh, let's see, we created a player. Um, I think uh, we have to do a new tournament. What's really cool about this is that uh, it has uh, Jim McKay, and I'm, I apologize, I can't remember the other guy's name. We'll hear it here in a minute. Um, let's do a new tournament. Uh, that works for me. Skill level of the field. Yeah, we better leave that at par because I'm sure I'm going to get my butt kicked. Um, what? Oh. oh, so there were two courses available. You had Royal Troon and St. Andrews. And, of course, we're going to do St. Andrews. Hello. All right. Um, so let's tee off. Are you teed off? I'm teed off, man. Michael Bradshaw here, welcoming you to our coverage of the opening round of the British Open here at St. Andrew's Old Course. And I'm Jim McKay. I'll provide the color commentary as we pick up the action in today's round. Let's right. take a look at our leaders, Mike. Jeff Sorry. Maggot, now in the lead at one under par. Quite a few names stacked in second. And now let's head out to the action on the links. All right, let's go to the first hole. All right, I can tell these guys are going to be interrupting me every time I want to talk. But anyhow, you can tell by the names uh, that are in here. Uh, you know, this is from 97. So, you know, uh, some of these guys have retired. Some have gone on in, in you know, beyond this life. So, uh, anyhow, we are going to do this. All right, so here is the first hole at the old course. It opens to a broad double fairway, which serves the first and 18th holes. The difficulty lies in the approach shot over the swill can burn to a large green. So there we go. So one of the things you could do in here is also you could hit the strategy. The opening hole of the old course appears rather benign at first glance. The combined acres of the first and 18th fairways sweep away from the clubhouse and offer a target seemingly impossible to miss. The preferred line of play here crosses Granny Clark's wind to the left center of the fairway away from the outer bounds fence. Longer hitters can reach the Swilken Burn that fronts this green. Under normal conditions, the approach shot calls for a short to medium iron that must clear the Swilken Burn to a large undulating green. All right then. I'm sure that means a lot to a whole lot of people. Okay, so this one is called Burn, of course. All right, so. Looks like a picture-perfect day for golf, Jim. All right. It doesn't get much better than this, Mike. I think they'll be putting some low numbers on the leaderboard. You guys done? Okay. So, uh, there's a crowd over here. The crowd doesn't really move. Um, wow, my mouse is very laggy. This is going to be interesting. Um, you have very the caddy. Here. Perhaps he's unsure how to play this shot. Yeah, yeah. You have the caddy who can offer some advice. You also have the overhead view over here. The way this works is you point at the player... And you click one time, and the bar comes up around to the top. You click at the top, and then it comes back down, and you click at the bottom. So a triple click kind of thing. Click, click, click. And then the closer you get to that white line in the middle, the straighter the shot is with wind and everything else taking into account. Stay so it the whole way. there we go. All right. Let's do it. A bluebird day for a round of golf. So gym. at this point, it the wind. It course into a lamb, Mike, but that could change overnight. Not worrying at all about stopping this ball. There's plenty of green before the flagstick. Okay, you guys done? All right, the wind is 10 miles an hour, and you see it's kind of blowing toward us based on what the flag is His doing. His opponent has to be wondering why he hasn't hit this approach yet. Because I'm talking. All right. Oops. So, <laughs> uh, this one's probably going to end up in the water. No? Woo, on the green. Way. Yikes. Way probably outside. Okay. About two putting for par from here. 
so you can turn on the grid so I can do a green grid so this gives you an idea supposedly what's gonna happen at this point it looks pretty flat actually so uh, when you point to the character you'll notice that I am over here 48 feet to the cup I'm eight inches below the hole so if I hit Might it about the situation 50 ish no oh, I didn't oh that leaves a tap in for par. Yeah. All right. Well. Make par here with his short second putt. Late in the day, Mike, the leaders Oops, have more sorry. spike marks to deal. And it's in. Good par. I forgot. That's one of the things about this game, though. Um, if you play faster than they talk, then you interrupt them all the time. So anyway. <laughs> Let's have a look at the leaderboard, Mike, to see where things stand. We have a tie for the first position, and a pile of golfers bunched in third. The leaderboard changes fast during the opening round. There's no doubt that any of the top ten could easily win this, Jim. Someone will get hot. All right. I'm actually tied for third. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> After one hole. All right. The second hole introduces the player to one of the major weapons in the old course uses against her adversaries, the bunker. This hole is often underestimated because much of the trouble lies concealed from the tee. And the green can be one of the most difficult on the course. Now, I'm not going to read every single hole because that would get crazy. Here we are on the tee. The sun is out and the sky is beautiful. Yep, sure Gorgeous is. weather for some golf. You guys done? Great. Oh, boy. All right, so I overpowered it and then I pulled it. But I'm still in the fairway, so not a bad shot. Good drive. Wow. That was a 250 yards. That this seems... His second. <laughs> 250... Let's see what comes of this shot. 250 yards seems so short by today's standards, but hey, you know. Oh, am I on the green? He's put this into the air. Nice. There we go. Just barely. Good play on that one. <laughs> All right. Holy cow. Putting for birdie has to be a good 60 feet or so. You never know with these putts, Mike. Nick Price and Jack Nicholas share the record for the longest putt made by a professional, 110 feet. Price made his at the 1992 PGA Championship. Nicholas sank his at the 1964 Tournament of Champions. I, 110 feet. Looks a bit perplexed Whew. by this position. All right, let's see what happens here. This ball looking right of the hole. That's ah, for for yeah. for a par here. Not bad. He can make par here with his short second putt. And that Don't. leaves just a short one for par. Are you kidding me? He should tap this little putt in okay, for both. Turn, turn off the grid. All right. Sunk it. I'm not a good golfer. Uh, I, I don't golf at all in real life, and obviously I don't do well in computer Let's life either. Let's have a look either. at the leaderboard, Mike, to see where things stand. So one of the other things you can do is you can adjust the view, and this is how you adjust your aim. So if I wanted to aim a little further this way, now uh, I'm aiming over that direction. And the reason why is because... Oh, well that figures... Usually, I mess up and I shank it over to the right. This time, I hit it perfectly straight, of course. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it was a great hit, but I'm way further away from the hole than I would have been. The fairway should see him take this shot any moment now. I just got here, man. Ooh, that's a decent shot right there, man. That is great. Good looking approach. Holy cow. Nice. Very good indeed. Yeah. With a hot putter going, a player expects to make straight putts from this distance. The putter is definitely the scoring club, Mike. Oop, that's the wrong way. All right. So I should theoretically just be able to do this, right? How far am I going? Ten feet. So a little. Whoops. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. That leaves oh. a tap in for par. Man, 
That should have been a birdie Two, four, easy. Five, yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, not good. Yeah, I don't know the whole backspin thing. I have no idea how that works. Is that shot design? Oh, yeah, look at that. It's been a long time since I played this. So, oh, here's backspin. So let's put some backspin on this. Let's see what happens. That's a good ah, chip. Eh, not bad. Would have been better not to do the backspin. For a one putt to save the par four. Probably All not. of the pros are excellent putters, Mike, but the leaders are usually having an exceptionally good streak. Yeah, well, that's not me. Oh, Left gosh. himself three <laughs> feet from the cup. Uh, right in the heart. Man. Uh. Nice shot. Oh, man. So close. I think he likes that one. But with little or no break, it's makeable. Says you. That's looking pretty good. Just yeah! it online and it Got it in the hole! He's now three over for the day <laughs> with that errant hole. Let's check out Royal Troon. Tee off here. Day one of the British Open is always a thrill, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Michael Bradshaw, welcoming you to Royal Troon for the third of this year's major tournaments. And I'm Jim McKay. I'll provide the color commentary as we pick up the action in today's round. Let's see how the standings look, Mike. David Guilford, now in the lead at two under. There's a tie for second place. And now let's head out to the action on the links. Okay. All right, let's go to the first hole. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is Troon. Looks like a picture-perfect day for golf, Jim. Uh, looks a lot like the other course. This, Mike. I think they'll be putting some low numbers on the leaderboard. Fairway conditions are about average today. Yeah, well, we're swinging. Will it stay He's in the into fairway? The He's hit that yeah. one about All 255 right. yards down the fairway. All right. On another hole in this championship, Ian Baker Finch struggled in with a bogey at the third hole. And with that, okay. he's at plus one. So let's do this. Ah, oh my gosh. What am I? Uh, he's watching this. He's watching it go. Whew. That well, play. that's okay. A bluebird day for a round of golf, Jim. It turns the course into a lamb, Mike, but that could change oh overnight. My gosh. Well, the sun is out for this round of So, play. check out the crowd. I can remember when that actually looked like it was decent. We're like, oh, I can't believe this crowd. This is awesome. On Holy another hole in this championship. See, I interrupted him, so. Pfft. Oh, my gosh. That's just a lack of concentration. Yes. He hit that shot a thousand times. Well, you guys are talking. Holy cow. Not a bad shot. Took a while to get to this green. Still has this one left for a bogey five. Looks like about a two-footer for double bogey. Okay. Made it easily. And that makes six. Yuck. All right. Well, oh, oh, holy crud. It's airborne. Oh, I'm in the sand. Just didn't seem to be paying attention on that one. Not a good shot. Okay. So getting it up out of here is going to be a pain in the tuchus. So this says use a two iron. Why would I not use a sand wedge? Because that's what I have. Choo! There we go. Well struck ball. Thank you. Just a beautiful golf shot. Oh, well, I appreciate that. For this tall grass out there, Jim. Sometimes you just have to take your medicine, Mike, and play a safe out. Safe out? <laughs> well, I guess that's a safe out. He likes it. Yeah. Thanks. That'll play. Fourth shot on this hole. Now All right. Let's wait and find out what happens to this ball. Oh, man. I was hoping to hit it a little short let it roll but some bite there yeah 
I have no idea. I, I've never been good putting in golf games at all. No That's idea. That's going left of the hole. And it's a tap in for whatever. That's the end of that. <laughs> and that pushes him to four over par today. Uh, four over. The leaderboard hey, sure. always raises a few eyebrows. Coverage of the British Open at All Royal right, so Ch I could save the game if I want to. We're not going to do that. So we're just going to quit to the main menu. Holy cow. So there you go. That is British Open Championship Golf from 1997. Oh, my gosh. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed taking a look at me absolutely blowing any chance of good golf in a video game i don't know <laughs> feel free to leave any questions problems suggestions horror stories down in the comments section below and thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time